With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So here we have the question and the question says that explain the addition of HBr to propene by electrophilic addition mechanism and free radical addition mechanism. So first of all, if we see the uh, electrophilic addition, electrophilic, okay. So in this process, we can say that uh, first of all, we need to write the structure of the propene, just the general formula kind of thing. So CH3, CH double bond, CH2, okay. Now we need to add the HBr. So this will follow the Markovnikov's rule. This will follow the Markovnikov's Markovnikov's rule. Okay. This Markovnikov rule, according to this, we can say that uh, at one position hydrogen will be added, and on the other position uh, Br will be added. Okay. So as such, we can say that uh, suppose this is CH3 CH CH3 okay suppose here the hydrogen is already added and this becomes plus okay and this will break as such we can say this will not break but uh, here we will find that there will be a single bond instead of the double bond okay so this will become plus and there is Br minus in the uh, solution that is the in the HBr from this HBr so this will come and attack over here. So from this we can say that there will be the formation of CH3, CH, Br, CH3. Okay. So as such we can say that this is more stable and that's why this is formed. Like we can say that the Br will be formed at the last position. If we check like uh, in the free radical we will understand this better. Now if we see this in the uh, free radical free radical mechanism so the product form will be the same okay just uh, the mechanisms are quite different for better understanding so in the free radical we can say that there are three steps three major steps the first is the initiating step okay initiation so in the initiation we generally find that uh, there are like the organic peroxide we use peroxide because for the conversion for before uh, this free radical we will just write this like ch3 ch double bond ch2 plus hbr in the presence of peroxide in the present of peroxide we find that there is a formation of ch3 ch2 ch2br okay Maybe this is formed or the other product may also be formed. So basically there is a peroxide. Okay. So in the initiation step, we find that this peroxide or ROOR, this is homolysis. We find that homolysis of this particular component, homolysis. And then we get like RO, this is a free radical plus O R. This is also a free radical, and along with it, in the next step, this is actually the alkoxy free radical. This is alkoxy free radical. Okay, and now we can say that this reacts with the uh, Br. Now this is added with the H Br, so that gives the R O H plus br free radical okay br this is a free radical as this is a free radical mechanism so we will find that there will be like radical formation mechanisms okay so next uh, the step 2 is the chain propagating so this was step 1 the step 2 is propagation step okay propagation now in this propagation we find that uh, there are some uh, changes like not changes but the reaction with the uh, propene of the free radical okay 
So basically we find that CH3, CH double bond CH2 uh, will be tre uh, treated with uh, Br free radical, bromine free radical and that will give two components as such we can say or two products. So the first product is actually the CH3, CH, CH2, Br. Okay, where the free radical is formed over here and this is known as the secondary. Okay, secondary free radical. Secondary free radical. And the second product which is from, formed over here is CH3, CH, Br, CH3. Okay, this is known as the primary free radical. This is the primary free radical. Now we can also say that from here we are getting that we know that uh, the secondary, the secondary or the two degree rather we can say that two degree free radical is uh, more stable okay than the one degree. So it is more stable okay. So there only we can say that we will find uh, like this, like CH3, CH3, CH, this is the secondary radical, okay, free radical and having the Br plus HBr is already present. So this will give out the CH3, CH2, CH2Br, okay. So plus there will be a Br free radical present, okay, free radical. So this is the product which is formed, which we can say that the 1 bromopropane, 1 bromopropane, okay. We would have also formed the product with this primary free radical, but that is not much stable, okay. So we form like this, actually primary free radical, this will be CH2 and here we will be having the radical, okay. So now uh, next part we can say that here we will be having uh, the termination or the termination okay or the terminating step. The third one is terminating terminating step. Now in this step we find that the Br free radical which are present in the uh, like reaction mixture will form the Br2 and then the CH3, CH that is the free radical CH3 and which are left behind which are not reacted that will also form a particular product by reacting in themselves and they generally form the CH3, CH, CH3 and with this CH we will have another CH, CH3 and here also we will have CH3. And this component is known as the 2,2-dimethyl, dimethyl butane, okay, butane. So, therefore, we can say that this is the complete answer for our question. Hope this answer helps you. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.